Qatar Social Work. سعادة رئيس وأعضاء اللجنة الموقرين ترحب المؤسسة القطرية للعمل. Ladies and gentlemen, committee members, my foundation, a civil society organization, welcomes that this meeting is being held, and we appreciate your committee's efforts to ensure implementation of CEDA. Our foundation which acts as a consultant to ECASOC, strives to strengthen U.S. efforts to uh, have better international cooperation in the area of human rights, and particularly as concerns women and girls, so as to provide justice and to promote women's potentials and broaden their opportunities and enhance their integration into society. L ladies and gentlemen, committee members, noting the uh, parallel reports, we would like to highlight a few of uh, areas in which we have played an important role in uh, the achievement of some goals. Well, first, the report or the study presented by our foundation on the situation of married Qatari women who are married to non-Qatari nationals and their children. Well. Because of this uh, document, Law 10 of 2010 was created by which a permanent resident card is provided uh, to uh, these people, and the child of a Qatar woman can now benefit from uh, access to education, medical care, and priority is given to them in receiving nationality. We must continue our path to get even greater gains. We must also coordinate with several sectors in drafting a sectoral strategy, which will become part of the 2018-2022 action plan. We also have a program to build women's capacities and to build girls' capacities, including women with disabilities and older women. Ladies and gentlemen, we have galvanized many human rights associations around us, including the Permanent Resident Committee, the Committee of International Humanitarian Law, the Committee to Combat Human Trafficking, the Committee on the Review of Legislation to assess their compatibility with two, the International Covenants, the Economic, Political, and Social Covenant, and the other one trying to secure joint efforts in order to make progress in women's rights and to make sure that the promises we have made translate into facts on the ground, working towards the 2030 agenda as well. Further, our institution will accede to the National Commission of Women and Girls and Elderly Women. We have received uh, a green light to join just recently. We have reacted to a humanitarian situation following the June 2017 embargo against Qatar. We have striven to uh, strengthen the social fabric by providing services for adaptation and integration, mainly for women and girls. And in spite of the many challenges that have come, come across our way, we are trying to mitigate the negative impact of this embargo which affects also women and girls. In the aftermath of uh, the embargo on Qatar, we would like to reiterate our gratitude to you and pledge our commitment to uh, relentlessly combat all types of discrimination against women and young girls to ensure that they can fully enjoy their rights. Thank you.